rather than just going through rules of thumb, let's try to explore uh, what we're talking about a little bit more. So let's say we've got a very simple uh, database. It probably has a lot more than this, but I just want to focus on this so you can see by the example this might be an example database you would see for Twitter where you've got some users and they do some tweets. So they've got the 140 character tweet. We keep track of when that is. And we've already done one part of redundancy elimination by separating out the tweets from our users. So we point to the user who made this tweet uh, and as a, as a result that uh, the user information is not repeated in each tweet that is made by the user. So um, this on the face of it looks like we have followed our, our rules of thumb of not having any plural information, not having any redundancy, but I want to explore what happens uh, with, with this data here. So I'm going to, right here, I'm going to create our, our two tables. So the first one is going to be our users. And I'm just going to do uh, John Doe. And uh, that's user number one. And Jane Doe is user number two and uh, you know there could be other stuff in here and let's also have say a, a tweets table here so we'll go ahead and draw this out here so we have our tweets and let's say that uh, tweet number one says hi and we'll just put some columns here, put this here, and it was done today, and it was done by, let's do at one o'clock, it was done by user number one. And let's say tweet number two is, um, I'm sick or something like that, and that was done today at 1.30 and that was done by user 2. And now what happens if the next thing that happens is John Doe right here sees what Jane Doe tweeted and he decides to retweet this information. Now let's say we've got a, a platform that's limited so when you do a retweet what happens is it, it literally just copies the old tweet. So now it does this, I'm sick, and we get that information at 132, or 130, let's keep it the same, by user 1. Okay, and now we have this information right here is redundant. And, and maybe we don't keep the same information. We, that's not uh, important. We could say that this gets updated by when user one did it. And, but you still have this information right here that is redundant. And that is, again, assuming that our system just literally copies one person's uh, retweet from one user and broadcasts it to another user's followers. Uh, and in here, that's a little bit of information, but you know, tweets can, can get a little bit large, and so it might not be the best thing to have this. In, instead, what, what we, we want to do is eliminate the, this redundant text as, as much as possible. So what we, we would like to do I instead is, is if we have a third table here and let's let's call it uh, tweet details I don't know and here we can have an ID and we can have the text and that would allow us to have uh, for hi that would be ID number one and for I'm sick that would be ID number two. And now, 
in, instead we and, and then the, of course this is if you decide to go with the blue you could also have your possible date here and now what you do uh, let's pick a third color here uh, magenta is in this table rather than keeping the text and or the date you put the tweet details in here so this becomes not high anymore but this becomes tweet detail number one this isn't I'm sick or I'm sick but tweet detail number two and then this date stuff might disappear as well so now we have much less redundancy uh, imagine if this user decides to uh, update their tweet and because we've uh, retweeted it we would like to see those updates now we only have to fix this uh, so uh, let's do pink and I'm sick um, but working uh, so if we have this kind of system here uh, John Doe's retweet of Jane Doe could reflect that update to the change without having to go through every single tweet because remember there's going to be a bunch of those tweets in here that uh, may have retweeted this. Maybe someone retweeted John's retweet of Jane's post and so that can be real expensive if we allow updates but if we have this organization where we have the users and they have Right, we have this one to many, and we have tweets here have, have a one to many. It becomes much easier to to have this text updated like this and see those updates immediately. Notice we didn't have to change this table at all for everyone to get the update to to that text. So this is an example where we we have to think very carefully about what it means to be redundant and, and when we pull out information from within one table and put it in uh, another table.